Hi there, this is Jonathan from Spotak London. Today I'm in up. So here we are. This is the the ground floor. We have the the main door just there. We have a mirror here, in the corridor. And so here we have first room number one. And this is I think is the biggest or one of the most special bedrooms here. We have two wardrobes. One each side. Is there the the regular wardrobe? A nice double bed. Chest of drawers here. The mirror. And here we have views to the street. So this is room number one. And next door we have room number two, which looks nice as well. We have the same uh, wardrobe, slightly smaller, just of doors here. The double bed. Here we have views to the the back of the build, the house, and the garden is just there. So this is room number two. And this is the living room. So it's nice that we have a living room in, in the house. We have a, so two sofas here, two big sofas, a couple of coffee tables here. So that's the whole living room. As you can see, we have a really nice wood over all over the apartment. Here we have a small bathroom. So we have the basin with a mirror, the toilet, and here a shower. And this is the, the kitchen. So we have the big fridge with a freezer at the bottom. Um, we have the, the cooker, the gas stove with the oven. You can check the available space here. Definitely you will have to bring your own like plates, bowls, glasses, cutlery, fire pan, spot, everything. I really like this area. So we have some more extra storage space and we have a breakfast bar here. So you can bring uh, some uh, high chairs and have breakfast here or any meal. We also have the washing machine. So that's the whole kitchen and well it's raining at the moment but I'm gonna show you from here so that's the the garden so it's nice that we have some grass area you also have some uh, strings so you can uh, hang your your clothes after washing all right all right so yeah, so this is everything in the the ground floor, garden, kitchen, one bathroom, living room, and rooms two, one, and let's go upstairs. So here we have room three. It's slightly smaller. We have the same wardrobe, sorry, the same wardrobe, same chest of drawers, mirror as well, and that's a double bed. We have views here to the, to the garden. It's a nice bedroom. It's a little bit small, but it's quite nice. And uh, here we have a second bathroom. So we have the toilet, the basin, small mirror, and in this case we have bathtub. So that's the bathroom. And 
So here we have room four. As you can see, we have the same kind of furniture in every room. We have a mirror, the wardrobe, chest of drawers, same lovely floor here. The double bed. Here's to the garden. So that's the whole room number four. Here we have number five. So it's a I think the second biggest, or well, second or third biggest room in the house. We have again same furniture, the double bed, chest of drawers, a mirror, the wardrobe, and here we, we can see the, the street. So as you can see, it's quite residential. And so this was room number five. Here we have a small room, so it's like too small to be a bedroom. So the landlord might bring here a, a desk, so you can use it as a study room. All right, so let's go upstairs. And here we have two more rooms and an extra bathroom. So this is room six. You have wardrobe again, mirror, a double bed, and chest of drawers. Again, we have the same furniture. Here we have views from higher to the garden. So, room number six here. And Another bathroom, three bathrooms here, one in each floor. So we have uh, the basin here with some storage space there, mirror, heated rails here for the towels, um, the toilet, and here we have shower. So that's the bathroom on the second floor. And to finish, here we have room seven. We'll just put some extra light. So it's quite a nice bedroom. We have same uh, the wardrobe, just a double, the double bed. Plus here we have some extra storage space there, and those shelves. Actually, this is perfect for a TV, as you can see. You also have the the connections there for the antenna. And this just this window. Obviously, it's raining now, so I cannot open it. But you could see the, the street just, just there. So, that's all. So, that was the seven bedroom house in Upton Park. As you have seen in the video, the apartment looks nice, it's in good condition, and so it's been recently renovated. And the things that I like most from the apartment is that uh, most of the bedrooms here are quite spacious and bright. Uh, we have a living room. A spacious kitchen, a really big garden as well, and we also have a small room as a study. So uh, the landlord uh, might provide, um, as I told you, uh, with a desk. And uh, as well, it's good to have in mind that we have three bathrooms here, in one in, in each floor. So it's uh, it's, a, it's great for a seven-bedroom house. And the whole area here is really quite unpleasant. It's really residential. You will find the nearest shopping commercial areas next to the. Uh, the stations and probably the, bi the biggest shopping center uh, or commercial area here is uh, near Stratford, it's not far from here. Anyway, you want to find out anything else? Go to spotoff.com, you'll find everything there. This was Jonathan for Spotoff London. See you next time. Bye bye. Upton Park, it's a residential neighborhood in East London. The nearest station is Upton Park, and there you have the district and Hammersmith and City Line. And this is a seven bedroom house with three floors, and today I'm showing you all of it.